Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm going to start with an apology. I do not have a speech prepared. Uh, I have come incorrectly dressed because this was very last minute for me. Uh, but my name is, is Mark Ormrod. I am a former Royal Marines Commando who joined the military in 2001 at the age of 17. And I joined it back then to serve Queen and country. Now, I learned a lot of lessons in 10 years of service. I deployed to Iraq in 2003 as part of Operation Talit One when I was 19 years old. I then deployed to Afghanistan in 2007 when I was 24. And on Christmas Eve 2007, I stood on an improvised explosive device, resulting in me losing both my legs and my right arm above the elbow and becoming the UK's first triple amputee to survive from the conflict. Now, this is a whole new world to me. I have nothing more than a community college education, so I'm very honored to be here, and thank you all for inviting me here this evening. But one of the things that I did learn in my 10 years of service was whether it's king, or whether it's queen, or whether it's country, what me and my comrades fought, or maimed, and died for what was you, uh, the men and women of this great country who we all love dearly. On Christmas Eve, when I was lying in a 12-foot crater, surrounded by six other improvised explosive devices, bleeding out profusely, and as close to death as anybody could possibly imagine, I removed my helmet, I threw it to the side, closed my eyes, I felt the sun beating down on my face, and my last thought, was on my two-year-old daughter and how she would grow up, maybe without a dad, but at least knowing that he did something honorable and noble and for other people. So I am, and I apologize if I get the terminology wrong because I said that I'm new to this, I am against the notion. I proudly served the armed forces. I like to think that I sacrificed for the armed forces and given the opportunity to do it again, I would absolutely do it without hesitation. Thank you.